Constant food coming out to the table. Yeah, so we had this delicious potato soup. We also got to try for the first time ever herring, mm -hmm. and this was a sour herring served with pear and sour cream, yeah. which I have to say was delicious. It was I really, really, really good. liked it. Mm. And then for the main, we had dumplings with plum, which is a very um, typical flavor here, uh, and they're in season, so we're very lucky. Served with beef. Mm -hmm. It was so, so tender. So good. Yeah. So that was really lovely, and now we get a chance to have a nice walk <laughs> through Wooch, and we're making our way to our next stop. So I'm full of good food. <laughs> Everywhere you look in this city is just beautiful architecture. It really pays to look up here. I'm just walking along, and I saw this incredible red brick building, this really long facade going all the way down the street. And this was built by what the, you know, typifies the kind of building that factory owners would build for their workers. So this is where the workers would live, where their children would go to school. And they're just gorgeous. Look how big it is. All the way down there. I wanted to stop and show you guys this. You see this symbol all over Wooch because Wooch means boat. So keep an eye out for all the little boats around town. We are on our way now to take a tour of EC1, which used to be a power plant. And they actually, it was an old power plant that didn't have any computers. It was the only local one that didn't use any computers. And because everyone was nervous about what would happen with computers when the millennium rolled around with Y2K and all of that, if you remember, they kept this one running just in case all the computers shut down. <laughs> so then it was closed shortly after the millennium when everything was fine with the computers. And then in 2017, they turned it into this amazing science center. So we're going to take a look inside. We're in the control room, a well, former control room of this whole huge power plant. And there's so many knobs and buttons in here. It's definitely overwhelming and I kind of want to punch them all, but you definitely want to know what you're doing. But it's pretty cool to see the whole brain of this operation and it really would take like a big team of people to keep this, this place going. on the top of the power plant, well specifically on the top of the old cooling tower. It's such a nice breeze up here and as you can see you get like a 360 degree view of the city, of Wooch all around you. It's a little bit windy. It's so cool to look out and just see everything that has been transformed around here. And if you look down, look at this. If you have vertigo, look away. Isn't this cool? Yeah. I so love it cool. up here. I know, what a view. I know. <laughs> the city's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Jumped into a taxi and we are headed to the sewer museum. So, we're gonna go underground. <laughs> From the top of the water tower to under the city. We're 
on our way to the sewer museum and we got a bit sidetracked and distracted by something very sparkly and shiny. It's this whole passageway, which is covered in these glass tile mosaics. It took like two years to put this all together. And if you look closely, you can see little rosettes. It's just beautiful. And with the sun out, it's just sparkling. We are going on another tour now at the sewer museum. <laughs> Sounds interesting. I can safely say I have never even heard of doing a sewer tour. We'll see, sewer if, we, tour. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if we come out as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Maybe we'll order some pizza down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually it's pretty cool because we were just on the top of the cooling tower over at the power plant with that amazing view of Wooch. And now, after a short taxi ride, we get to go underneath. Under. So we get to see it We'll from see above both sides of the city. And below, which is pretty cool. We're just walking through this square and apparently the entrance to the museum is actually right here. <laughs> well obviously it's a staircase so we're gonna head down. was the sewer system and uh, this is informally known in Wooch apparently as the inner tube because <laughs> it goes all around the main square that we were just in. It's 142 meters around and they started using this in 1927 and it was in use up until the 1970s and then someone had the brilliant idea of turning it into a museum because it's so historically significant. So now you can come and walk around and there's all these like archival photos of what it used to look like and it's been open since 2008. So we're gonna walk around this inner tube. These are some of the things that they found as they were digging this site out, including this doll, some bottles. And the acoustics are crazy. Oh, it's be cool to hear a concert in here. Oh. <laughs> okay, we just finished the loop. I did not know what to expect. But that was really cool. That was so interesting. <laughs> and there was no one else here. We were really lucky because the acoustics are such that it's really loud, like if you're standing anywhere in this loop. So it was nice to be alone. This is a place that I think Tony Hawk needs to come to and just skate like up and down all the walls. Of course Mark thinks of skateboarding here. <laughs> or I wish I had a skateboard through here. Oh, yeah. it was sweet. This was really cool though, the inner tube. Yeah, Got the inner tube. <laughs> it's actually not that far underground, is it? It's really not that far no. underground. No. Yeah. Just one level down. Yeah. Jinkuya. on our way to another museum right now but we're walking through this really cool complex called Manufactura, Manufactura. and um, the thing about Wuch is that it has a really industrial past so there are over 400 different kinds of factories especially textile factories here back in the 1800s and so there are all of these beautiful brick uh, factories and Manufactura is the first example of taking one of those factories and repurposing it into a multi-functional kind of space. So there's shops and restaurants and this museum that we're going to. And it opened in 2006. And before that, nobody really thought that there was any point in keeping them around. And now when you look around here, <laughs> you are reminded Evidence. <laughs> of how amazing this space is. I just love it. I want to explore here more. There's so much to see, like yeah. cinemas and restaurants, yeah. gyms, gyms. <laughs> and patios. It's all here in this old factory. Yeah. This is just one factory. We're at the factory museum, and because this whole manufacturer complex used to be a factory, one textile factory, they have a whole museum here dedicated to its origins and the workers. And mm -hmm. So we get to look around and I hear we're gonna see some looms, some real looms from that time in action. It's probably gonna be loud. We just got to hear a demonstration of these looms 
only two of them at once. And as you can see in that old photo there, there may have been like two or 3,000 looms going at one time. And I can only imagine the amount of people who lost their hearing to some degree, um, spending like up to 16 hours working these looms. It's unbelievable. We finished up at the museum and then we've come back to our hotel before we head out for dinner again. And I'm so obsessed with this hotel that I just wanted to show you one of the other cool things you can do here. They have their own cinema. So I just want to show you around because you can go to the cinema obviously if you're a guest, free. Or still for free, you can go just if you're in Wuch. So if you're in Wuch and you're not staying here, you should totally come and check out the cinema. So I'm going to turn you around. Cinema. Cinema Paradiso. And they even have these cute candies for free if you'd like some snacks. There's a popcorn machine and there's a bar. Popcorn, drinks. I love all the velvet and pink in here. So you can just come and hang out. Even the carpet is fun. <laughs> and then when the movie's ready, you just go through here. More velvet curtains. And there's a screening room. And I can tell you, these chairs are extremely comfortable. So you can just sit here with your snacks and your drinks on the table and enjoy the movie. I think it's so cool. As you can see, it's a little bit darker now, <laughs> and uh, we are on our way to dinner. Yes, I'm hungry, which is surprising after the delicious meal we had earlier. Yeah. I never thought I'd say those words again, <laughs> but I'm excited. And we're going back to uh, Manufactura, where we were before, and uh, the restaurant's in there. So we get to see it again at night, all lit up. how you say it, which means cotton. And I love their logo. It's like a wash tag. I really like the vibe in here. I kind of want to live in here. Yeah. The high That's ceilings moving. and brick, yeah. huge windows, yes. wood floors. It's my dream house. I'm so into manufactura, like everything to do with it. Yeah, I agree. Totally my vibe. All right, let's see what the menu has. That's been the theme of Poland, really. Yeah, uh, the food was delicious. So good. Loved every bite. Yeah. And it, you can very much see the, the details of the factory inside the restaurant. I like mm. all those little little touches. I love all the brick and the Edison bulbs yeah. and the open concept kitchen. It was very busy too. Yeah. So it had nice energy inside. Yeah. So we're gonna walk back to our hotel now and <laughs> call it a night. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you did and subscribe for lots more travel adventures. And we'll see you in our next video. Good night. Bye.